And exactly like I said, we're back to deal with this zombie and this zombieling specifically. No other zombielings matter except for this one. And now he's dead, so that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Ragecraft with Nims. No, I'm kidding. Um, last time we left off, we were going into the Descent. I think this was what it was called. And uh, there was a spider cave of death right there. And we were trying to figure out how to handle that spider cave of death. Um, or, like, do we skip it? Do we go around? I don't know, man. I don't know. But it's easier to do stuff while you're on the proper floor than it is to try to go ahead. Okay. Oh, oh, nothing spawned. Okay, so there's a floor down. And was that it? Oh, and of course I'm out of torches. Please be torches? Okay, there's chain helmet. Withdraw, please! Potion of Frost? Instant damage 3 slowness? Wow! that Those are amazing. Okay, well, uh, I just ran out of torches. We've got, what, like one? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and create some torches now that we finished looting the room. Thankfully, no uh, spider spawned. So let me get some torches, and then we'll check right back in. I cleared this wall of coal. Now it's time to start moving through. We we got some stairs here that we need to check on. Hello, Zombie Ling. How are you doing today? Have you met my jagged blade? Okay, so more... Dude, why is he so difficult to hit? Oh, it's because of the, the hitbox on the... This junk. Oh, oh, oh. Don't want to deal with that. We're just going to... Waste a few arrows here. Okay. Very nice. Great job. Okay. Very good. Oh, there's so many creepers coming. It's... These, these vines are making this, like... It's adding difficulty because like last time we talked about vines creating like a kind of a beneficial scenario like it has its pros and cons because monsters can't see you through them but sometimes they affect the hitbox of oh gosh turn that corner so many creepers man so many creepers and i don't know what's underneath the staircase and i'm going to assume that all the cobble in this staircase is all silverfish and yeah i can't i it is all silverfish Ah, oh, dang. Okay. Managed to get a place. That's all that matters. Good. Zombie Link, I need you to die, please. Okay, so let's go ahead and destroy these. Don't see anything coming from there, so we should be safe to go ahead and loot this. Boom, 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 boom. And I saw this. It was Enchanted Sharpness Unbreaking Knockback. Interesting. Not as good as a sword, but still good in its own right. Oh, there's a spawner. Can I get it? And there's a spawner there. I'm significantly more worried about that one than I am this one. Okay, so there we go. Got both of those. That's another death hole, guaranteedly. Man, I think... No, it, it, because spawners ignore. I was going to say, like, those didn't spawn anything. Did we just get up on them within that 10-second limit? I think we're just moving quick enough that the game doesn't see us. Oh, that was, that was like, orange. Did you see that? Let's get rid of that mushroom. If this is difficulty by, like, Blizzard... Burning Splinter. Smite 2, Fire Aspect, Knockback, Unbreaking. Powerful magic item. Wow, that's crazy. Um, Alright, so... Oh, hello, spider. How are you today? Well, I hope... So, how do we get down from here? Are we just supposed to... Okay. Alright. So, I kind of see. It's it's up back a little ways. I want to go ahead and get that path clear. So, that way I can, like, get down here appropriately instead of, like, doing weird stuff. So, I'm going to backtrack a little bit and uh, catch up with you guys in a second. 
Okay, so I don't think I explained that very well. It's a problem of escape is what I was trying to say is, you know, if I have to run away like a like a dog with my tail between my legs, um, I don't want to take like a super long, ridiculous, winding path, right? I just want to be like, that's it. I'm out. I'm leaving. And there's a spawner right there. I don't know if we can get it with those guys waiting for us. Okay, apparently we can. He just died to fall damage. Um, I don't want to have to run like some ridiculous path that winds back and forth, left and right, to be able to get out. I just want to be able to be like, and I'm out. So, And I also want to create redundant paths, which is what I just did here. So that way, again, if I get stuck, I don't have to just choose, like, what if I just saw three creepers on that path behind me, right? I don't want to have to run out that path. I want to be able to have multiple options. So that's what I'm working on doing here. Come on, don't explode, don't explode. And is that a skeleton because he spawned because it's dark? Or is that a skeleton because there is a skeleton spawner? Okay, I see a creeper spawner right there. Man, there's a lot of monsters right there. Okay, so we can just do this really quick. That should be pretty good. I'm stuck on something. Ah! Don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want you, most of all. Okay. Got him. I need something like blocks to build with. I've just got so much junk in my inventory, man. I don't care about vines. What do I need vines for? Get out of here, vines. Yeah, okay, that, that skeleton is gonna mess me up more than anything. Oh, what? Okay, there's gotta be a skeleton spawner down there because we just saw a second skeleton pop up pretty much underneath the first one. Uh, let's go ahead and drop the creeper. Is that glass I see down there? Is this gonna be the end of the descent? Oh, come on. Let me out. We got it. We got it. Okay, so where's these spawners? They've got to be around here, right? I see it to the right of us. Oh my gosh, there were so many that just came out of that. Felt good about it. I did. I did. Can't get up backwards. Level 55. Hey, good job, team. All right, the pain, the stress, the zombie lings are real. Okay, I see that we're within range of that spawner right over there. So I'm just pulling back a bit, not because I'm super scared of the zombie ling. Maybe I should be super scared of him because you know, we did almost die last time. Um, okay, so that's nice. I like the light. Okay, there, there it is, there's it active and Got a light under it. Oh, man, there's one just right over there that's active, too. Oh, I miss our efficiency pick. You know what? The creepers into silverfish haven't been too much of a problem. I just accidentally destroyed a torch that's really bad, considering there's two spawners right next to me. And got it, yeah. Okay, I feel really good about this. I'm feeling really good. Uh, another chest, we got gunpowder, don't need that. We wanna save our bones. Uh, save sticks. Uh, what do we get rid of? What do we get rid of? Mushrooms. Okay, we can drop that. We can take that. That. Swiftness. I think we want the swiftness potion. We'll drop a butter chest piece. We don't. We don't want butter chest piece. 
Uh, look at how many arrows we've got now, man. That's so good. We can drop the mushroom stew. I was bringing that along in case of, like, backup food, but we're not going through food all that quickly, so it's not... I don't think... Oh, my gosh! There's, like, five creepers. Oh, creeper, 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 creeper. Creeper, 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 creeper! I mean, I could just let them detonate and kill all of them. No, that's that's too risky. With especially, oh, okay. Nope. Apparently, that is what's happening. <sighs> Happened twice. That's not good. That's really bad. And that's it for our torch supply. I keep. I dropped my torch again. No. Where is it? Okay. Got it. I gotta go get torches. Torches! Come to me. And there's coal. And back down into the spider creeper pit we go. I have 45 torches. Should be enough, right? We did see the glass, right? Okay. Those two creeper spawners are well lit. And... It's out. No? Okay. Okay, I thought that was a cave spawner, and I, or a cave spider, and I thought that, you know, that was going to be it. I thought that was going to be the death of me. Okay, see, there is glass. I was right. So we've got the spawner there, and we've got another spawner right there. I don't know if you can see it all that well. And there's a gnat in my face. Oh my gosh. Uh, how do we get down? Oh, crap. There's a lot. Ooh, ooh, was he geared? Is that a geared skeleton spawner? That's significantly more scary than a regular skeleton spawner. Or was he just a lucky skeleton? See, this is where vines work to your advantage. Let's hope that he was just lucky. What? Warning shot! That's all that was! Warning shot! We still got 61 plus... 64 plus 9, 73 arrows. We should be fine. Oh, yeah. See, those vines just helped me climb up there, man. I just kind of spam held in one direction, and then that was... That was... Way easier to get into that scary space than I thought it was going to be. Oh, come on. Oh, there's another spawner back there. Oh, there's a whole lot more spawners back there. Maybe putting those potions right next to my food isn't a good idea, because I almost just threw a potion on myself, and that would have been awful. I would have so died. Uh, okay. Oh, hello. How are you today? Speaking of which, we should try using those. Wow, did you see that damage? Oh, that did not work. That did not work. I immediately regret that decision. Oh my gosh, that was so dumb. Oh, that was so bad, man. I was like, you know what? I'm going to jump in, and I'm going to place some torches down, and it's going to be awesome. And you know how that turned out? Nothing like that. Nothing like that. Huh. Look at how many arrows are just sticking into my face and my body. Oh, you poor little phoenix, man. I'm so sorry. How could I ever do that to you? Oh, I need to wait out some health and figure out a game plan from here. Oh, my gosh. All right, so I'm going to pop open this thing, take a look outside, see what it is. Okay, so not too bad in this direction. Can I get out? No, not really. Are there spawners active? I don't see any particle effects, so I'm going to go ahead and hope not. Okay, perfect. And now they're active. 
And now they're not? Okay. So now all I have to do is just kill this guy. And that's worth dropping a couple of arrows. And they should be well lit enough that I don't have to worry about spawning more. Okay, so it wasn't totally, like, the worst thing that's ever happened. But that was pretty close to death, man. That was really close. Whoa, what is this? Okay, so what's this do? Is the descent not... Checkpoint to the Nexus. Teleporting to the Nexus. And then... Do we now have access to these? Oh, we do! Check this out. Teleport to intersection 1. Okay, so is the descent not actually a wall zone? It's just a checkpoint to get to a wall zone? Okay, alright. This is cool. I kind of wish I would have gotten some wall at the end of that. That would have been nice. But, you know, this is good, too. This is good, too. Um, this is scary, though. Areas. Okay, I'm going to take that. Drop that off. And, oh, gosh. What do I take? What do I leave? I don't know anymore. Okay, there we go. Um, let's go ahead and... Let's see, this one's Death Row for the light blue wool. This one is Little Empire for the orange and magenta wool. And then this one is the Brimstone River for the yellow wool. And we're going to go ahead and read the areas book. Um, oh, okay, so this is recommended order. Little Empire, Death Row, Brimstone River. So this is Little Empire. So that's this one. Uh, Death Row, which is light blue, and then Brimstone River is the last one in that set. So leave me leave me a comment down below on which area you think we should go to next. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a trip back to the Nexus, do some farming, do some stuff, prep for the next episode, you know, do, do just Nemixian things. Right, right. So anyway, thank you, thank you so much for watching. That's going to be the end of the episode. We have beat the Descent which I don't know if you can beat it if there was no wool in it, but we did it nonetheless, and that's important. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.